Dear colleagues, I now want to show you how we can treat uh, knee osteoarthritis with intraarticular laser therapy. We will work with a combination of injection of hyaluronic acid, which is normally used for treatment of osteoarthritis, especially the early forms, and we will combine it with an intraarticular laser irradiation. We have a lot of research already which shows that laser light applied directly on the cartilage can lead to cartilage regeneration. There's a lot of literature all about it, but up to now we did not have any technology to apply the laser, especially all the different wavelengths, by a catheter technology directly inside the knee. For intraarticular work, of course, it is very important to have a sterile room and work with uh, sterile equipment to avoid any risk of um, infection within the joint which can produce a big problem for the patient. I demonstrate to you our equipment. We have the syringe first for local anesthesia. We have uh, a brownula. It's a plastic needle which we put in the knee what is uh, very comfortable for the patient. And we have the special fiber optic catheter. So the best uh, place for puncturing the knee normally is the lateral point on the beside the patella. This is the best access of injections inside the knee. Some doctors use also the inner side but uh, I prefer the outside of the knee. So you see I marked already the area where I want to puncture the knee. Injection there normally is um, easy and quickly done. In the first step now we give a local in, in anesthesia, so we can use maybe scandicaine or xylocaine or procaine. We give a small injection inside the skin and then under injection I move the needle forward and back to give a local, good local anesthesia of the injection channel. In the next step, now we put the brownula in the injection place in an angle of about 45 degrees and you see it's easy and you feel it when it moves through the capsula of the knee. So the next step is now injection of hyaluronic acid. Of course you can also use uh, other drugs uh, for regeneration of cartilage. Some doctors also work with uh, own serum of patients. It is very important that you are feeling that the injection is very easy. If there is a bigger resistance during the injection, then you might have a wrong place maybe in the Hoffer fat body or in the connective tissue and then the injection could be painful and should not be performed completely. But you see here injection is very easy, no big resistance in the syringe. Well, the hyaluronic acid now is injected in the knee and we remove the syringe now and now we insert the sterile catheter directly in the brownula. Sometimes we have to turn it a little bit. You see now it goes in and by turning the screw now we have a complete closed system. So you see the end of the plastic fiber optic catheter which is now placed directly inside the knee. We have a look on the device now on the touch screen. So normally we treat the chronic osteoarthritis with red and infrared laser because we have the best literature and the best results with those lasers. On the other hand, if the knee is more inflamed, maybe in rheumatism, then it might be better to give only the blue laser because the blue laser has better anti-inflammatory effect. So you see I switch the press the red laser 
and then I switch the device on and connect the orange fiber optic cable with the special adapter with the end of the catheter. And the light is coupled then from the fiber optics directly into the catheter. Very important that there's a good fiber coupling because the diameter of the uh, fiber optics is only 0 0.4 millimeter. So we switch on the red light, we connect. We can see the red light going through the plastic cable and now we fix with the tape the cable on the knee. And you see now the light is going directly inside the knee. And if we switch now the light off, you can see exactly the spreading of the red light in the whole inner side of the knee. It's an amazing effect for the therapist and also the patient. In contrast to only injection of hyaluronic acid, this therapy is extremely effective.